Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here, and in this video we will be talking about Color LS. So what is Color LS? It's a revamped version of LS with icons and stuff. It makes things a lot more colorful. Uh, if you check out my link here in the description, you'll know that we need to get Ruby installed. So I already have Ruby, and I've also already cloned the fonts. The fonts are a huge important part of the Color LS system. So we're going to start from installing the fonts. So let's go to the terminal and uh, go into nerd fonts, do dot slash install, and it will go and install all of the necessary fonts that we need to run color LS. All right, so the fonts are installed. So the next thing we can do is go back to the home folder and we can install color LS. So to get color LS, you're gonna to need to clone the code and uh, just go ahead and grab that and then you're going to install it with gem and gem is part of ruby uh, this again takes a little bit to download it's not instantaneous but i go into color ls and then just run the command sudo gem install color ls and uh, from here if we do color ls we see all of these different things And as you can see, if you do a normal LS, we just see all oh, these folders. They're so boring, right? But if I do color LS, we can see the icons and there's also just to just show directories. And there's also color LSS, uh, which doesn't work for some reason. Uh, this one will show permissions and folders. It's a good time uh, if you want something better to look at while you're in the terminal traversing through directories if you need help determining what is a folder and what is a file. It also can show individual uh, things like, uh, you know, like if you have a wine program, for example, it'll show you a wine related exe icon and so forth. So it is pretty useful. Uh, it, it is kind of hard for me, muscle memory, to not type ls and to do color ls instead, but it still works, so it's pretty cool. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. Uh, that's all for me for today, but I will see you in the next video.